and other more spectacular um, non-caustic news got a couple of garden spiders I know that they are good spiders because they eat stuff that might eat my plants like whatever is eating that right there but we're gonna still try to keep it holistic think we need to uh do something about these ants even though i heard they're not terrible you know what i'm saying as long as you don't step in them and um this lettuce is looking too delicious man look at this it's crawling all over here i wonder if it has those like aerial roots like if it made it all the way down to the bottom would it make roots and start growing over here too like is this a creeping vine i, I think i'm just gonna let it grow i do want some salad though and it's not it's not as wilty as it was, though it hasn't been as hot as it has been. So I might cut it like one more time, maybe some more salad or at least a good juice. Even though I got me some uh, turnip greens for the juice purposes. But I still might uh, cut some down and maybe take them to Granny. We got to figure something out for her uh, with the stuff she got going on, even if it's just a quick fix type of thing. But I had some soil in there from when we did our mama's garden. Me and my brother did mom's uh, little front garden bed. Tried to attempt to do that. And I came out here after I did my little video. Mango growing. I was worried. I was like, well, just leave it alone because maybe the cold snap hindered it or something. I don't know whether it's big mango or little mango. And since this one, I don't want to disturb my little spider friend. It's not popping off yet, but it might pop off. And it's, uh, it popped off the way a potato pops off. Like it's got two little sprouts from that one seed. But it's growing. So, you know, no worries. I just don't, you know, I don't like manipulation, man. I, ugh, it's bothersome. But the soil was in there. And I'm glad I went in there and thought about it and got it. And about three beers in, I want to think about something positive after going damn near negative a little bit. Which, it's not negative. It's just, bitch, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, didn't you know I could see you? Like, I, I see you, man. I, 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 yeah, but it had mold and stuff on it. Yep, keep on doing what you're doing. All them flies in there. That's what compost is supposed to do. So I topped off everything with what was in there. So it won't be in there creating a hazardous environment indoors. And it's supposed to be outside. My little one pepper seed that came up. Shored it up. Make sure the roots go okay on that. And this oregano. Well, no. I think this is a... Uh, yeah, this is basil. Now, when I planted the basil straight in my compost last year, it came up strong and furious. But this is going actually into the ground. And I don't know if you could tell, but we found out for sure uh, when we dug up mom's dirt. It's a lot of clay, uh, which is probably, I think clay is like, like sand and all of that. Which makes sense because we're right on top of Louisiana. And I think that's why Arkansas is so green. Because like if any like major water event happened... Like, we would be the new ocean line, probably. Maybe, like, to the top of... Well, we got some mountains and stuff, so... Probably all of Arkansas wouldn't be water. But definitely the part that's touching Louisiana. And maybe up until central Arkansas, because we have a lot of flooding. So, I think that's why we got a lot of clay. Because we probably just barely been uh, drying out this last little eon or era or whatever. But I tried to top everything off. I didn't want to cover that up. Because I want that to grow. But all of this is parsley, mostly. I think it's like a few, like I think that might be oregano. It's a few oregano seeds. I think that's oregano. So it's a few oregano seeds, but I didn't like the fact that it wasn't nothing coming up. And this was green onion. Like this is coming back now, but I put parsley around. So whatever it was that was maybe attacking it, like that's green onion, that's green onion. It kept on getting chopped down. Like these, these are growing in the, you know, I don't know if the sun was burning it or what. I don't know. But it just kept on falling. So maybe the sun was burning it because it's growing in like the shadow or like right up underneath the um, the cilantro. And um, I guess I need to cut this again because it's getting all bushy and all of that. But there was a cool drink when I made it. The cilantro and watermelon juice. It was popping. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure if there's parsley back there. I forgot what I put back there. It probably is, but I know I threw something else back there, and I know the only other thing that's popping up is the acorns that squirrel in them are uh, burying, and those are very easy to see, 
and you can pull I pull those up so still not ultra sure on what a weed is but you know uh, I'm, I'm kind of familiar becoming familiar with what I planted and what it's supposed to look like and that's the cottage garden mix bachelor button whenever those pop off as they supposed to look like but okay all right uh, I keep on wanting to call it Rodicchio. It's not Rodicchio, it's Swiss chard. And that's the uh, green onion. And see, that's what, because this is a different green onion, you know, this is like a garlic, this garlic chives. Yeah, so it's supposed to be different. That's why I planted them, but you know, whatever. I got another little garden spider over here. They say don't bother them because they help, you know, keep the harmful bugs away. So don't fuck with them. Um,. Yeah, I'm debating on whether or not to take these out. I kind of want to see what they'll be like if I just let them grow in there, how they'll make room for each other. But eventually, I'm going to take them out because look at them, they're getting huge. I had already buried them once I replanted it, so they already popping back off. So I don't know. Maybe leave them in there over the winter so they'll still just be in a familiar environment. And then that way, they'll have like an entire season to acclimate like next year or whatever. It might be the plan. I don't know. I might come across some information that's different. But I'm telling you, the way things going, I don't even know how much of this information you could trust. You don't know what's, um, you really don't know what's what. So you're going to have to start uh, feeling and vibing with uh, whatever it is you feel and vibe with and be willing to make mistakes, which, you know, I am team hashtag make a mistake. God damn it. Fuck it. Hashtag I knew the goddamn risk. But yeah, mango is growing. I was very surprised by that. I was uh, pleasantly surprised, especially after the video I just got darn made. I was like, come on, man, stop with it. So that was a nice surprise to have to, you know, come into contact with. It's popping. It's still not but a few lavenders popping off, but that's what's up. I put the little stuff around it. I think maybe, maybe that's lavender. I don't know. I'm not sure. I know I put lavender seeds down there. So I tried to give them a chance to uh, move around. Put some sulfur down there because they got one of them little weed berries. So yeah. What's up with y'all? How y'all doing? Alright. Yeah, but everything seemed to be growing. Alright. Alright. Yeah, see, look. See, it's got this little drop down vibe. I was kind of worried about whether or not they needed to be propped up. Look well, like they gon' they tend they they gonna be all right. So you know, mm -hmm. maybe just let it grow and see what pop up. All right, later.